Hi, Adam here, and in this video, I'm going to walk you through Rank IQ. A little while ago, I came across this graphic which shows that Rank IQ was the highest rated SEO software in 2023 compared against a ton of other tools, many of which I use or have used. This piqued my interest and I decided to pick it up and have been using it for a little while now. So I wanna to talk to you about what I believe to be the good things and the bad things about this particular tool. Now, if we come over here and do a little comparison, one of the things that stands out is the price. You can get Rank IQ for $49 per month, whereas tools like Surfer, Ahrefs, and SEMrush are a lot more. Now, one thing that really piqued my interest about this tool was the fact that it was created for people who run blogs, small businesses, and that really fits me. I'm not an SEO agency, I don't have a ton of SEO clients, and I found that a lot of the data that SEMrush provided me was too much and there's so many things to sift through and as a small business owner or a blogger it can be a little bit overwhelming. Now they don't have a free trial, you have to join at $49 per month but as you can see it's going to save you a bunch of money if you are a user of any of these tools and you're not an SEO expert and you're not hardcore into this stuff. So we're going to go over to the dashboard. Now they do have a bunch of training in the dashboard which shows you how to use all of the features and functionalities and it's very very clear and it really is important to take the time to go through it and to understand how to use the software. But first and foremost you'll want to select a niche. So you click on this and there's tons of niches in here, pretty much everything you could think of. And you want to come down and just find your niche and click on it. And when you do you'll see that the keywords change. So let's come down to woodwork. We'll click on woodwork and then we'll see that these are the different keyword phrases that appear. Now we have keyword phrases, we have competition, we have visits per year and we have time to rank. Now obviously what does very fast mean? What does average mean? There's no real definition of fast or average but you can get a basic idea of the kind of things that they have and you can click on this and you can you know change how they're presented whether you have the highest or lowest visits per year, the highest or slowest time to rank. Now if you can't find your niche you can click on this green button and enter some keywords related to the kind of content that you create and it will bring up some keywords for you but 99% of the time you should have something from the drop down. Now it really depends on the kind of site that you have so let's click on um, competition. If you have a website that's relatively new or it's not very strong and you've got a DA of 0 to 20 you'll want to click this one. So you want to click one that's relevant to your site so let's just go with the lowest one and then we'll click apply filter and then we're going to, as you can see this changes here so it removes a lot of the keywords that are going to be really really hard for you to rank as a new site. We'll then go time to rank and we'll click ultra fast or very fast apply filter because we want to get some quick wins and then visits per year because we have a site which isn't very strong it's quite near we don't want to go after anything that's too hardcore we don't want to just go after the keywords that have the most views so we'll go from 100 to 1000 and now we get the keywords that we can potentially have more chance of ranking for. And these are the ones that you really want to focus on. And you can go through and you can have a look and you can you know, check some if you want to just check some or you can add them all. So you can add these to your keywords and they will appear up here automatically. And you can also download them as well as a CSV file so that you don't have to come in every single time and redo this. So if you had a woodworking site, this would be the kind of stuff that you'd want to focus on first as a woodworking site that's relatively new and has a low DA. So that's the keyword library and as I mentioned as you save them or you add them to your keywords they will then appear in this section up here. So I've got a couple of sites with keywords in here. Now if you go to the rankings audit section at the top you can connect your Google search console account and you can select your property from a drop down depends how many sites you've got and you can get data on the posts you've published that have seen a traffic increase and have seen a traffic drop over specific time periods and you can see which posts you need to focus on when it comes to updating new content. As you know when you have a website you can either publish new posts or you can update existing content. Both are very very important however updating existing content is of course much easier because you've got the bulk of the post created and you can focus on the site on the posts that have seen a drop in traffic that are over a year old and then you can update following their recommendations and the great thing about this is it, it basically tells you which posts to focus on and which posts not to bother about because you don't want to focus on updating 
content that isn't getting any traffic at all. You wanna focus on the content that was getting traffic, it saw a traffic drop, it's over a year old, and that way you just know what to focus on. And that's one of the great things I found about Rank IQ. It kind of tells you what to do, as opposed to say SEMrush or you know Ahrefs, which gives you a ton of really cool data. But unless you're a real pro at that kind of stuff, you're looking at all these numbers and figures and you're not really sure what to focus on, what's useful and what's not useful. So that's one thing that I really, really liked. So I'm gonna pause the video and go and grab an example post that we can work on. So I found a post and I've entered in the keyword for that post and Rank IQ is now, well it's just done it, you can see it's found information about this particular post. So the keyword phrase that my post was focusing on was, should I move to Japan? Now my site is actually quite new, however this was one of the first posts that I wrote, so this is probably something that I should focus on because according to Rank IQ it's seen a bit of a traffic drop. So what does it tell me here? It tells me that this is the kind of word count target and the grade is always A++. This is the kind of grade that I should go for and that's going to basically change depending on what phrases and words I use in my content and it analyzes all of the top ranking content. It gives me a competition which is a little bit high considering that my site is relatively new but it tells me it's very fast. Now if this was a brand new post that I was to write I'd need to kind of go through and select the key words to incorporate in my article and then use those as a basis for creating my article outline. However, this is a post that I've already got, so I'm gonna click on Content Optimizer. Now when you open this up, it's basically blank because we've got nothing posted in here. So what I'll need to do is I need to grab my content and post it in here. Now one of the downsides I found with Rank IQ is it, it recommends that you post in the code as opposed to the actual, art, you know, the words of the article itself. And if you don't understand what code looks like, it can look a little bit weird. So let me just go and pause the video and show you one sec. Okay, so I've gone to that post, I've copied the code, and I'm gonna paste the whole thing in here. And what does it tell me? It tells me that my word count is fine, but my grade is actually quite low. And that's because I, there are tons of words and phrases that I'm not using that I should use because the top ranking posts are using a culmination of these. Now, if you ever use Surfer SEO, it kind of works similar to that. However, I do prefer Surfer's Dashboard. Surfer's Dashboard is a bit more intuitive, but you obviously pay for that. Now, so we go to unused. So these are all words and phrases that I've not used that I should be using inside of my post. Now, I don't want obviously stuff, and I don't want to force these in unnaturally, but what I'll need to do is basically go to my post or do it within here, and then add these words in. And as you add a word in, it automatically gets removed. So obviously this wouldn't make sense, but I'm just gonna type in work visa and you'll see that it disappears. So work visa, it's gone. And you wanna go through and you wanna get all of these in as much as you can. Now, you can do this manually, of course, because human written content is always gonna be best. But if time is of the essence and you'd like to leverage AI, then you can use something like Koala or Koala Chat and you can get them get that AI tool to create a paragraph and ask it to incorporate these words in a specific way. If you wanna check out Koala, then I'll leave a link in the description. But you wanna go through and get as many of these as you can, and as you get more of these in, your grade will go up, and you wanna get this to a grade A++. Another thing I'm not too keen on with the dashboard is because you've got all of this code in here, then this word count looks really, really high. Whereas if you just got the words itself, it would be a little bit different. So again, I'm gonna pause the video and go and copy and paste that and show you what it looks like. Okay, so I've copied that, we're gonna paste this in here. It's gonna squish it all up, but now we can see that my word count is a little bit more you know, normal. I've still got a good word count, which is great, which means I don't really have to focus on writing more content, which would take me time, but if I did, then I'd have to do that. But I need to focus on this. I need to get my grade from D minus to A plus plus. And the only way I'm gonna do that is go through and add these words where they would fit naturally. Now that might mean having to write a new paragraph here or there, but again, this is something that I would need to focus on. And you'll also see that we've got these bits here which have different color underline stuff. This is Grammarly extension. It gives me 71 recommendations to improve the, gra the grammar, the wording. So what I'll also do is I'll go through and I'll click on these things and I will accept Grammarly's decisions, unless of course it doesn't make sense. So I didn't need the word future, so it might make my writing more succinct, which is something that's really important. 
Um, I've got Grammarly set up with a, a British English, so it gives me any American English spellings to change, but obviously you wouldn't have that if you weren't British but writing in American English. And again, you'd want to go through, do all the Grammarly suggestions, and make sure that you can add as many things as possible. Now, new country, obviously, that would be something that would make sense. So, are you asking yourself if I should move to Japan? I might say, moving to a new country is a huge thing and something I have experience in. And then let's get started, something like this. And then of course, once you've made all of the changes and you've got this grade higher, you would then have to go through and make sure it was in your actual post as well. And then you can update it and then you can mark this one as done. And I just find that having these suggestions here really makes life easier and I'm not sidetracked by a ton of data elsewhere that maybe only an SEO expert or agency would need. So I find this really, really useful. I find it easy. I think that this, that this section here could be a little bit more user friendly and ideally I would like to be able to, you know, get something that I could then copy and paste and put it back onto my WordPress site. You can see the formatting doesn't always look good. It doesn't center the images and the text is kind of squished together. But other than that, I think this is really, really good. And for $49 a month, which will give you 16 reports, so you can focus on eight posts that you update every month and eight new posts, which is what they recommend. Or you can you know, focus on existing a lot of content or focus on only new content if you've got a brand new blog. But it just you know, makes life a lot easier. They've got a Facebook group as well, which is very, very active. And yeah, it's just an overall good tool. Now the tool is created by a guy called Brandon Gailey, I think his name is pronounced, who hosts the Blogging Millionaire podcast. I'll be perfectly honest and say, until I got this, I'd never heard of him, but I've since been doing a bit of research on who he is, and he's been around for a long time, and he seems to know his stuff. And again, this is you know, his tool, and there's a network of bloggers inside which all have this kind of goal of helping each other, which is a little bit different from SEO experts and SEO agencies, which are at a different level. So again, if you think it's something you'd like to check out, there'll be a link in the description. But if you check it out for a month, and then you kind of don't use it, or you use it for a month and a half and then stop, you're not gonna get any results. You've gotta really, really be consistent with these things. So my personal advice, and this is what they say as well, you wanna use this for at least a year and focus on you know, the quick wins as opposed to using it to create these 6,000 word blog posts that really do take a long, long time. If you have any questions, let me know. And again, I'll leave a link in the description. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video soon. Take care.